Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Running IMT Beginner Pokemon League. This is the final week. It is Tig versus myself, Rudy. This is the final match for first and second place. It's so crazy because at the beginning of this league, I started off so poorly, like 0-3 or something like that. I don't know what my record was. It was, I lost like the beginning weeks all in a row. It was very rough, but now I'm fighting, battling for first and second. If I win this, then technically mine and Tig's records are tied, but since I beat him, you know, then I win. And then if I lose this, my record will be tied for the people in second, but I beat both of the two potential people that could be in second. So, but I'm not going for second. We're going for first. All right, let's see what, he's bringing the wheezing, the Obstagoon. I forgot about the Obstagoon. Okay, okay. I know I'm leaving quarter tonight, 100%. That was, I've already decided that a long time ago. I'm not bringing Grimmsnarl because of his wheezing, taking away my Prankster ability. I also won't be able to do anything to the Obstagoon with that. I won't be able to do anything to the... What's his name? Uh, freaking, I can't remember his name. The third third Mon on the right. Or oh, I can't even do Grimmsnarl for four of his six Mons. So we're going to bring Gastrodon. I was really kind of, because I, I, used, I had Dracovish on this team for a while. I had uh, Gastrodon in the beginning. Then I switched it to Dracovish. Uh, let's see here. Then I want to bring... Dinner is ready in the back, and then I'm thinking, yeah, definitely Dragapult's in the back because he has Solar Beam for his Dragapult. So this should be an easy decision right here. Okay. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm very high stressed right now, okay? At the beginning of this league, like I said, I lost a whole bunch of weeks in a row. Edgar's going crazy in the background because he just went to the bathroom, so he's in a super playful mood. And that's okay with me as long as he doesn't bark. Um, But this is quite stressful for me because, like I said... Had a rough beginning of the week, our weeks, and now I am back in it, and I don't want to get second, okay? I'm not here for second place, and this RK9 is different. I haven't seen the RK9 on his team. Uh, mm, I don't know. I know he's got a... See, I feel like here's the thing, though. Whenever he brings his Weezing, he usually beats me, but I wonder if he's going to get into his head and not bring the Weezing, expecting me to think he's going to bring the Weezing so he doesn't bring it. You know what I'm saying? Like some weird mind games. And I wonder if he's not going to bring the Weezing at all. But I know he 100% has to bring the Obstagoon. It has Flame Lord and Facade. RK9 and Obstagoon. Okay. I hate the Obstagoon. That is a legit shiny, everyone. Just so you know, I was in the Discord call with him when he got that legit shiny. Okay. Mirror Armor, perfect for the RK9. And then my Gastrodon doesn't matter about his attack font. I am not going to Scald into this RK9 slot because he has a Gastrodon of his own. So I'm going to do the obvious play here, switch the Corviknight out to... See, Dennis already has low health. The thing is, though, with my Assault Vest, it doesn't really do much for me. It just protects against Special Attack, and that doesn't do anything either. Yeah, we're going to do the Dinner's Ready play. Dinner's Ready. And then we're going to do the Earth Power into the Arcanine slot. So if he does switch to Gastrodon, I don't have to worry about my Skull being soaked up. Okay, so he's not switching out Arcanine. Which is fine with me. He's going to use Knock Off. Take away my Lagging Ball, that's all. I don't have, uh, or Iron Ball. I don't have uh, Leftovers on Gastrodon. My Gastrodon set up uh, to counter Trick Room teams. He's going to use Roar on me, huh? Very interesting play. Who does he bring out? Stewart. Okay. Honestly, the Stewart play works out. And here's the Flame Orb now. The Flame Orb is absolutely terrifying. But I kind of want to do. I kind of want to. I kind of want to Dynamax right now. Um, to be quite Franklin with you, I kind of want to Dynamax. And if I do Dynamax, what is this one? It lowers their target attack. Ooh, I like that. And I'll go first. I'm definitely Dynamaxing here. It's kind of. I know it can be risky to Dynamax early on. But I feel like I got to set the, the pace here. And I'm going to go for another Earth Power on this RK9. Um, I don't I don't believe he has anything that can avoid Earth Power. Uh, he's not switching anyway. So we're going to go for the Dynamax so I can lower his attack and do some pretty good damage. And also, Obstagoon's Protect. I don't know what it's actually called in this game. But if you hit him with the physical attack, it actually hurts you. So that's another reason why I wanted to use a special attack on this Obstagoon. So this actually works out perfectly, that Roar. Works out in my favor. He was expecting me to bulk up with Corviknight, and that's why he roared. But that's okay, because... I mean, I don't know why he would actually think that, though, when he has, you know, an Arcanine. 
But this is perfect right here. Even if he lives, his attack is getting lowered. Which is good because he has Flame Orb and he has, uh, I believe, the ability is Guts on this Obstagoon. Which means that Flame Orb doesn't actually hurt his attack. It raises it. So Max Worm Worm is actually perfect for me. And here comes the Facade. Please don't knock out Gastro. Uh, Gastro's living big. Gastro's going to use Earth Power. I wish. I really wish I would have recovered there. That is okay, though. Because now he has to think. What am I going to do, right? Because he knows that Stuart is outspeeding his his team here. Um, so I'm just going to go for... Let's see here. Make sure he doesn't have anything. Max Wormwim is a dragon move, right? Yeah, so he could switch into Weezing if I do Max Wormwim again. So I'm not going to do a Max Wormwim. What I will do is set up a Max Flare. But that's going to help his RK9 if his RK9 doesn't go down this turn. I got to do it, though, you know? And then I'm just going to go, instead of going for the recover, oh, I should really recover, though. But I kind of want to Earth Power the RK9. I'm going to recover. I have to recover, because if I do live, because he's going to go first, right? So if I do live, I want to really live. That's what I'm going to do. But I definitely don't want to... Oh, he did not switch, though. So hopefully this knocks out his shit, obviously, right? Yeah. So Obstagoon, I did pretty good against him. That's a big threat, but his next big threat... His biggest threat to me is his wheezing. I do not like his wheezing literally at all. Cody just texted me. He said, don't think too much. I hate that. I wish I would have turned off my phone. I hate when he texts me. I literally hate when he texts me. Or he wanted to be in a Discord chat with me during this. And I said, no, I don't want you to get into my head. And here he is texting me, don't think too much. I literally hate it. I hate it so much because I need to win this. Here's the wheezing. Now, this wheezing is super scary. Uh, because it has a fire move. I believe it has a grass move. I just don't like this Weezing. This will lower their uh, defense stat. Uh, that's kind of nice, but... I'm just going to go for the Max Flare. I mean, I have Sunny Day up. Edgar is barking. Don't like that at all. And then we're going to go for the Earth Power over here. Edgar, hey, do me a favor and don't, okay? Does Weezing have... Oh, no, Weezing doesn't have Levitate. He just he has Neutralizing Gas. That's good. I don't know if Weezing can actually even get Levitate at all. I'm feeling good about this turn right here. But I know that... He can Dynamax, and I know that his Weezing, actually, what really sucks is his Weezing has Max Flare. So the Sunny Day is really going to help him out. Okay, he's definitely going for the Weezing here. Because he wants his Weezing to stay alive. He likes his Neutralizing Gas, um, which is fair. But right now, I mean, my abilities aren't really doing much. I mean, Gastrodon's is my best ability right now. But... I mean, he's, he doesn't have... Like, I'm not going to use a water move. Or, he's not going to use a water move when it's sunny day. So, let's see here. I'm going to outspeed. I'm going to hit the max flare. Just do some damage on him. That should do good. At least 50. Ah! I did about 40, maybe 45. Gastrodon, wow, that's a little different. That's going to do damage, though. But, Gastrodon is a special defensive bulky boy. His defense isn't that great. And, wait a minute. How sped the RK... Wait, what did I miss? What did his RK9 do? Hold on, hold on. There's no way I just outsped his RK9. Did his RK9 do something? I missed it. No, because I did Max Flare. He did Max Flare. What did RK9 do? That my Gastronaut went before him. I mean, I don't have the Iron Ball anymore. What the heck just happened there? Was he going for some... Does RK9 know any moves that have, like, a low prior priority? I actually have no idea... What could possibly be going on here? The extra Joe is a little, a little. I'm, I don't, I don't feel too bad about this extra Joe play right here. Uh, like I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. I mean, I have Sunny Day up, and Fire Blast is super effective against extra Joe. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Not gonna lie. And then I can just Earth Power. I kind of just wanna. Do I just double up into this extra Joe just to put him in a four v one? I think I do. Yeah, because also extra Joe usually has Focus Sash. I'm going to do that. Because I don't really care about this Weezing right now. I mean, this Weezing is not really hurting either of my mods. I mean, my Gastrodon surviving fire, uh, max flame or whatever. And my Gash or my Stuart has assault vest. And this is looking really good for Max Starfall. I, I forgot about Max Starfall. I'm a dragon type. What is he doing doing that on Gary? That's so weird. Why is he hitting Gary the snail and not Dragapult? I really need to call him after this and figure out what was he doing there. I mean, I guess it's because Gary had an actual super effective move, but... 
I mean, still. So I'm not going to trick this Weezing because I'm pretty sure it's Choice Bandit or Choice Specs or whatever the heck. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do... Do I just do the safe play and Shadow Ball for the hit? Or do I do the Fire Blast to try to knock it out? I'm going to do the Shadow Ball only because my Rotom Heat also does not have 100% accuracy move here. So I'm just going to do at least guaranteed 100% accuracy. I'm going to read this text from him. Oh, he hasn't texted me. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Cody is going to say, I don't really care. I was tired, but I don't care. I am the running on empty beginner Pokemon League Pokemon champion. Call me Leon. Okay, everyone, feel free to call me Leon. Thank you, guys. If you guys have watched any of the other videos, especially all of the other videos, please let me know down in the comment section below. I just spit a little bit. Cody just texted me and said something's up. What? I wonder what it is. I'm going to cut, guys. I'm going to cut right here, and I'll be right back with you. I'm going to see what he means by something is up. Be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, Tig and I found out what happened with that RK9 turn. So the reason, because he also max flared my Gasher down that turn, and I was wondering what was going on. Here's what happened. He didn't know, and I didn't know until just now looking it up, but it makes sense that Roar is a minus six priority. He didn't know that. I would not have known that off the top of my head, but like I said, like I just Googled it because we were on the phone together, and I was like, you know, actually it makes sense that Roar is a minus six. Because if you're a faster Mon, you could just, in like in a 1v1, you could just continuously Roar until you get the opponent's Mon that you want. So he didn't know that, so he tried to Roar my Gastrodon, hoping to get Corviknight to come out, and then he was going to Max Flare my Corviknight just to try to get a, a one-hit knockout on a turn I wasn't even expecting. So that was his play, but it just did not work out for him, unfortunately. But that is going to do it. I mean, it is what it is. It definitely sucks that we beat him off of, like, something he didn't know. But at the same time, that's competition. So I don't care. I'm glad I won. I am officially in first place. And that was the final week of the Running on MT Beginners Pokemon League. Tig finalizes in second place. And... I don't know what everyone else's record is yet because not everyone has played. Technically, they have until tomorrow as you're watching this. As you're watching this, tomorrow will be Saturday. Technically, they have until Saturday at 11.59 p.m. to finalize their matches. So I will be tweeting out or Instagramming or both the final leaderboards for that. If you guys want to follow, all the links will be in the description below to my Twitter and also the Running on Empty Twitter and also the Running on Empty Discord. We're going to be doing more of these leagues. We're going to take like a one, two, or three week break here before we start the next league, but we started another one. So if you guys want to get involved, now's your chance. Let me know. Let Tig know, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for stopping by.